Hi, I'm Sarah K. Brandis and welcome to Solopreneurship Made Simple. Uh, today, I've got my very first podcast guest. Um, this is Natasha Harris from Mind, Body, Soul, Energy. And I've known Natasha for several years now um, as a colleague and a friend. And I have brought her on today because I want to talk about something that's, um, depending on your line of work as a solopreneur, it might be really alien to you, but it's something that I think it's worth all of us solopreneurs exploring. And that's spirituality. Don't freak out. Um, there's science in this too. So, um, for as long as I can remember, ever since I was a little kid, I've really, without being able to articulate why at first, I've really been into the idea of reincarnation. Um, when I first um, started to get into science at school and I learned about kinetic energy, that, you know, how it changes and it, it morphs, but it doesn't start from nothing and it doesn't turn into nothing. It hasn't got a beginning and an end, it's just infinite. And um, that really clicked with me. That made a lot of sense and answered a lot of the childhood questions I had about, but where do you really go when you die? And what happens before you're born? And what, what is all this stuff? Because it really, I hate not having an answer for things. And it's always really bugged me. It's one of those huge questions that we can never really quite answer, but boy, is it fascinating. Um, so for a variety of reasons, including that science-based rambling, I've always been fascinated with the idea of previous lives and of course future lives as well and then later on um, I heard of Akashic readings and became really curious with that and when Natasha said that she was now qualified in Akashic readings I was like well, you've got to do mine you've got to do mine because I wanted to know more about it um, so before I go and tell you about mine which I will do um, I'm going to ask Natasha to just say hello and tell you really what it is so not my crazy rambly version but what Natasha um, can tell you what actually is so over to you. Hi there Sarah thanks for inviting me to your first podcast that's okay. great um, really excited so yes yeah, so don't get too freaked out by the whole spirituality thing um, I also come from um, a science background IT through and through so um, kind of getting into this thing was also a little bit Kind of new for me um, but it has been the most fascinating fascinating journey that I've been on um, so the Akashic records um, really are a database of um, information of all of our past life choices and decisions that we've ever made so through many past lifetimes but also in this lifetime as well so what it really does, it really helps to inform us what those, what those uh, past life choices and decisions that we've made that are still holding us back energetically. So you talked a little bit about, about energy already um, and how it, can, um, how it morphs and changes rather than you know, completely disappears. So everything that we do, our actions, our thoughts, our feelings and our emotions all stem from energy that we've created. And that has to be stored somewhere. And that's stored in what we call the Akashic Records. So we each have an individual Akashic Record, um, and then collectively there are many Akashic Records for everybody, um, every person that there is. So what's important from the Akashic Records, from my perspective, is to get an insight into the energy that's holding us back today. So, and I think probably from your own reading as well, it becomes quite clear that actually when we talk about past lives and we look at the past life um, situations and choices and decisions we made, how they're still showing up today. And I think that's what I find so fascinating when you're talking to clients about their past life choices and they're like, hang on a second, but I'm doing exactly that this lifetime. And I'm like, that's just the energy. So that's how we keep repeating these same old patterns um, in, you know, um, toxic relationships or unhealthy lifestyles. You know, we're constantly feeling ill or, you know, money problems um, that as solopreneurs, I think a lot of us, mm. you know, have boundaries and barriers to, to manifesting money um, and how those show up in this lifetime as well. So it's absolutely fascinating. Mm. Something I've really noticed um, just through working for myself, but also from observing some clients of mine as well, is that being a solopreneur, you've not really got any colleagues or team members to pull you up when you are repeating a habit. You're very, very isolated. 
um, which is not always a bad thing. I mean, I'm, I'm very much an introvert and I like isolation a lot of the time, but the trouble with it is that because you're so close to yourself, you have no perspective. And that was the benefit, the biggest benefit for me of having a reading with you was getting that perspective on myself that I didn't have before. And, um, talking about previous um, patterns of old as well as patterns of today, which as it turns out for me, as with many other people were pretty much the same thing, um, mm. really showed me what I was doing wrong, if you like, but also the flip side of that is what I could choose to change. Yes. Um, and those li- just, it didn't have to be a big change either. It was just little changes that make a hell of a lot of difference because when you start to change the way that you're being and the way that you're showing up in the world, the world changes around you. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that's exactly it. If we want things to change in our outward experience, I think we have to have a, le- a level of conscious understanding of what's holding us back. Um, and then in that, we can really start to change things. And we, as you say, we don't have to take huge leaps. We can take incremental steps. And I'm a firm believer in small steps lead to big change. Because as we take even a one degree shift away from what we're currently doing, over time, we actually shift quite quite far away from actually where we were heading in the first place. So step by step, small steps really do lead to big change. Mm, absolutely. So um, as promised, I'm going to divulge what I learned from my reading. Yeah. So because <laughs> I, I, I don't have a filter, so it's fine. So <laughs> for, um, for the three previous lifetimes that Natasha told me about, the, the thing that I was doing, I kind of want to go wrong instead of just saying it's wrong. That's my coaching training. Like there's no shoulds and there's no wrongs. No, we just no there's no wrong and rights. We just yeah. do what we do and we can empower ourselves to change it at some point. So, cool. so I guess... Yeah. The old pattern, the thing for me was way over committing when it wasn't serving me. I have this thing about loyalty and going all in and not letting anybody else down, but to my own detriment. And I know today in this, in this lifetime, I've done it in business. I've done it in employed career before business. I've done it in relationships. I've stayed way longer than I should have with the wrong person and just out of bloody mindedness and loyalty I've just gone no I'm committed I'm doing this and and I've got trampled on every time and kind of of course you know (laughs) because I shouldn't have stayed but until I had that conversation with Natasha I didn't have the perspective to step away from here to step outside of myself and look at myself and be like oh that's the thing that I can change. And um, it's quite a simple thing to change, really. But you'd never get it on your own, being by yourself in a room, talking to yourself, banging your head on your laptop, going, why aren't things working? And um, yeah, I, I think as, as um, small business owners, and particularly our solopreneurs who work on our own and don't have any help and are just the, the sole proprietor, owner and everything in our business, we are so busy and we're so close to what we do that we don't have the perspective. And so that's why I kind of wanted to talk about this, this experience I had today, because I mean, it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea, but for some people, if it resonates with them, I would highly encourage them to learn a bit more about it because it's, it's been really, really eye opening for me. Yeah. Yes. And it really is. And I think from my own experience as well, having, um, I actually did my own reading, um, which didn't offer me as much perspective, I think, as I probably would have liked. Um, But it was really interesting and fascinating. And for me, the big change in stepping into um, a different way of doing things that was more in alignment with who I am at soul level, um, my back problem seemed to disappear. Mm. And for me, that's something that's been blighting me for many years like five or more years so to go from being in pretty much constant pain but a manageable pain to being pain-free was a revelation for me I'd forgotten what that felt like so yeah we can absolutely make those changes and when they're conscious we really really see the the tangible differences that we make Mm. And it's once you've made those changes that you can start to manifest results that you do on as well and you know this already, but for the benefit of the listeners, when I um, when I had my reading with Natasha, we then had a follow up coaching session later, and um, I was going through a bit of a 
a common freelancer problem in that I was struggling to get payment from a client who had owed me for about six months and I was chasing and chasing and I was trying not to ruin that relationship by taking them to small claims court and um, having had my reading and having sort of started to understand that I had this problem in myself with hanging on to relationships that weren't good for me I then obviously had a change of paradigm in my head and was like actually what am I hanging on to this for? There is nothing in this relationship that serves me. There's absolutely no reason for me to not poke the bear. The bear owes me money. So I poked that bear and um, haven't told you this yet, but payment came yesterday. So I am all good. <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. That's great news. And just, you know, realizing that we can do things differently. It really empowers us um, to realize that we are in control, that don't, things don't actually happen to us, that actually we are um, kind of manifesting the stuff that we want and the stuff that we don't want. And I think that's what also the Akashic Records really offer a great insight into is that when we understand who we are at soul level, we can understand also what act types of action to take. So it's not just a bunch of information, it's like tangible actions that you can change to get to bring yourself into alignment, into flow, and therefore into abundance, which is what we all deserve. And you know, I really firmly believe that we can absolutely all have it. There's mm. no lack other than the lack that we create for ourselves <laughs> or the barriers we create for ourselves. You start to see um well, for me anyway, I don't know if it's the same for everyone, but for me, I started to become more aware of the little signs that were around me as well. I don't know if that's something that maybe typically happens, but um, yeah. I, in the time leading up to my reading, I'd had messages, I guess, coming from the world around me that were getting progressively louder and louder. They started subtle and because I was ignoring them, they got louder and louder. And the last thing that happened before I flipped the switch and said, I'm going to stop nurturing this relationship because it's not good for me mm -hmm. but instead I'm going to demand what I'm owed um I'd gone to an event and this it was a sort of a motivational personal development type thing and the speaker was um explaining about the way that you show up in the world is how you're met and it's mm -hmm. a really simple message and it's not anything that I hadn't heard before but I hadn't heard it before if you know what I mean yeah. it just really yeah. it really slapped me in the face and yeah. I was thinking, gosh, yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing with this, with this particular client that I've been having trouble with. And um, so I just decided to stop showing up down here and to show up up here and see what happened. Yeah. And, um, you know, it wasn't instant. There was a bit of disruption and a bit of a bit of an earthquake. It took a while for me to be met at the same level, but I was eventually. Yeah. And I got an yeah. apology as well. <laughs> and, and you deserved one. So it was, and it's, it's really how much we give back to ourselves and the, the kind of what we what we see that we deserve is what we what we put out there and that's how it's met. So it's really, really valuable to be able to see that we don't have to put up with stuff and that we can set clear and defined boundaries around us that work for us. And we're all different. We're all unique. Um, so that's what the what the Akashic Records also shows us, like what are our unique gifts? What are our, what's our unique energy resonance so that we can uphold that? Because the more action that we take that's in alignment, like what you did, mm. um, it's met back with us. So we've got to make sure that we take that action that is in alignment with who we are. Mm. Yeah. You know, I think this, um, this sort of advice is something that's kind of a bit thin on the ground in our world as small business owners, okay. because you've got <laughs> absolutely tons of the, the black and white down to earth stuff you know the how to do your numbers how to do your profit and loss yes. all the business consulting stuff there's plenty of that for us um so plenty of the how to there's plenty of the motivational stuff as well you've got your, your gary vaynerchuks and everybody else that are quite you know rah, energy go do the things take massive action but i think i mean certainly for me i felt a big hole in knowing what action to take so I've got, I know how to do the business and I know, mm -hmm. you know, I know how the numbers work. I hate numbers, but I know how to do them. Yes. Uh, spreadsheets do it for you now anyway. <laughs> yeah. And I've certainly got the motivation in spades, but quite often I'm like, I've got, I'm ready to do a big push, but I don't know which direction to push in. And I yeah. think maybe having the ability to tap into yourself and look inwards a bit more. Mm 
yeah. is the bit that we're lacking and everyone everyone's telling us to meditate these days which is great but it's actually quite hard to get started <laughs> so yeah, absolutely yeah. yeah I think meditation is is something we all find quite difficult because I think there's also this idea that we have to sit there quietly clear the mind and be able to sit there for half an hour with a completely clear mind and the, the mind doesn't want to do that so it's about acceptance it's about accepting the mind um, accepting where it wants to go and in that we slowly let go of things and I think that's what the Akashic records also give is it's just that idea that we can accept that we're who we are mm -hmm. that our gifts are our gifts and it's okay to 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 show them to the world we don't have to hide we can be who who we want to be and who we who we are on a energetic level and that's what's really exciting and when we couple that with knowing what what actual action to take that's in alignment with who we are wow you know so much can happen it's quite quite incredible that was the hack for me was knowing what action to take because um and the fact that you can do it from a reading and follow-up sessions which you know are a few hours out of your working life where going back to my point about meditation i'd love to be able to meditate and i do try but i'm i have not got a week to go spend on a you know a spiritual hike up a mountain in india to get to know myself i need to get to know myself asap and um, <laughs> <laughs> being able to do it on yeah. a skype call so yeah. much more doable for a solopreneur so yeah. and now i know what path i'm supposed to be on i i'm in alignment with you know my action is aligned with what mm. i want in here mm. and i couldn't hear myself beforehand i yeah. couldn't hear this over you know my heart over the noise of my monkey mind going yeah. pay the bills do the things listen to society blah 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 yeah. listen to your business coach mm -hmm. and um yeah i wasn't listening to me yeah Yes, because everyone else knows what, what we need to do, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but when they're you not don't, they... you, would, you would tend to listen to everybody else who's trying right. to advise you whether they're right or wrong. Because if you yeah. don't know, yeah. know in yourself, then, you know, why not take guidance from somebody else? So Absolutely. And I think getting support as a solopreneur is so important. Mm. Um, you know, I have, a, I have a business coach and I have um, a, a coach for myself as well. But it's it's... It's about unlocking what I need to know about myself and really informing the coach, actually, this is what I need to be doing. I'm listening to myself. Um, I'm very good at taking instruction myself. So I'm like pretty good if someone says do this. I'm like, yeah, okay, I'll do it. But then I have to really list, take time out and go, actually, do, is that what I want? And I think also with solopreneurship, we are... Uh, you know, there are so many ideas out there. If you do it this way, then you'll get the results. And if you're my seven step, my six steps or whatever. Um, yeah, yeah my formula. I mean, I have a formula of my own, right? But, um, <laughs> but you know, if you follow that, then, then the answers will come. But actually what we need to do is say, what are the key messages within that that resonate with me and feel good for me? And can I allow that to shine with my own unique gifts and who I am and couple that knowledge with your own intuition and where you, your knowledge of who you are, then boom, that's where it, that's where it all happens. Yeah. So yeah, get support, but listen to what, what you're actually listening, you know, take note of what you're listening to and what you're ignoring. Mm, definitely. And the thing for me was that I couldn't hear my intuition and now I can, and that's, the huge difference so if you're listening to this and you're thinking i don't even know what my intuition sounds like i can't hear it over the noise of my monkey mind my my family telling me what to do and, yeah. and everything else my list of to do's each day then you know, this is one of the things that you can try to you know you, you probably like me sat there with with a meditation app and just been like why can't i focus this is one of the things you can try instead if you want to yeah. try and learn more about yourself and what's what's right for you what's in alignment with your soul and you know the skills that you have as an individual yes because there is yeah. no one template no. for everyone no it's up that's absolutely true and what i hear so often is you know the insights um that the reading can give to people it, it's it's kind of mind-blowing it's like mm. how how do you know that I mean, i've done plenty of readings with people i've never met before and they're like how do you know that i'm like I, I'm, that's the information I'm given yeah. and I'm just seeing how that lands with you and it does. And so how can we change your experience that's not working for you right now to create one that is? Mm. 
Excellent. So um, we've been talking for a while. I like to keep Ooh. my podcast really short because um, I'm always going on about how time is our most finite resource. So yeah. I'm going to wrap things up. Um, thank you very much for joining me. My pleasure. Um, Thanks for inviting me. No, you're very welcome. Um, just tell my listeners about your offer because you've got for a finite yeah. space of time, everything's finite in terms of time. Yeah. But you've got an offer for your for your readings at the moment, which I totally endorse. So yeah. fire away. So um, very simply, um, it's a three month program where you get an Akashic reading. Um, you get the idea of where, what kind of action you need to take. So I'm launching this at a special price. Um, I think you're going to put all the details in the in the uh, show notes. Yes. Um, so if you want to find out more about it, then click on that and it will take you to um, another page that will give you some more information about it but it is only for seven people I can I've only got um, space for seven people at the moment and the offer will end on um, Friday the 16th of March at 8 p.m so it's only for a limited time so if you're interested and you want to know more about it then do get in touch I'd love to talk to you excellent so if I'm ever going to do a Gary V and say take some action then this would be yeah. the time to do it <laughs> Absolutely. Cool. excellent cool well if you'd like to learn more about Natasha in general then go to mindbodysoulenergy.co.uk and take a look and I will see you guys in a week thanks for joining me Natasha thank you bye, bye.